Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Wednesday, October the 13th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Cancer? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Cancer. Spirit. The judgment, the judgment, this talks about positive karma, absolution. I don't know what else to say because it's the first card, positive karma. What is crossing this? The king of cups, the king of love. Cups are water energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. See his heart for an eye. It's zipper pull. This person, uh, the king of cups is... Loving, caring, compassionate, a nurturer, a good parent, a good partner. The King of Cups, the King of Love. Consciously known. The Fool. Aries energy. I keep on forgetting to say Aries. Aries energy. This is uh, starting on a new cycle, a new journey. Um, he's got his bag packed. He's got a guitar. He's got a butterfly. Starting a new journey, taking a leap of faith. The fool. Unconscious. The hangman. Hangman talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place. And sometimes we need to look at things from a different perspective in order to figure things out. Recent past. Six of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This talks about equal give and take. I love the skull pendulum. Equal give and take. We all want equal give and take in a relationship. Near future. Four of Cups. This is a sadness. This is uh, having a heartache, being apathetic, not interested in love. There are uh, three cups have been spilled. You're looking at the three cups that have been spilled. But behind you, always Source Spirit Universe is trying to give you the, this cup of self-love. Because you need to love yourself before you can love someone else. Cups are water energy, cat spicy Scorpio. Where do you find yourself? The Justice. This is Libra energy. The Justice, you may be involved in a court case. Child support, divorce, you will come out on top. Um, a lot of times the, the person is blindfolded here because justice is blind. Um, there are the Libra scales over here. They're hard to see. Um, also, this figure has a scythe, which means sometimes you need to cut someone or something out of your life. The justice. External influences. The Four of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could talk about um, holding on to someone with your heart chakra. Maybe someone you need to let go of. Yeah, also talk about um, watching your money, saving more than you can, saving more than you spend. Hopes and or fears. The Three of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Three of Wands talks about waiting for something or someone. You have your eye on someone, Cancer. Overall outcome. The King of Swords, the Ice King. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Swords is all about honest, clear communication. If you do not bring the King of Swords clear and honest communication, he will use the sword and he will cut you right out of his life. King of Swords makes head over heart decisions. 
Bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You see the purse. This is going to work. Making your money. Coins. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Swords are Air Energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Swords are all about honest, clear communication. This is new honest, clear communication. Ooh, the star. Look at this Aquarius energy. This is the angel card. This is the wish card. This is the beautiful star. What are you wishing for, Cancer? What are you wishing for? Because it's going to, you're calling it to you. Four of Wands. Oh, my party card. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a dress rehearsal for a wedding, perhaps, a hand fasting. Yeah, it means the increase in level of commitment in a relationship. And the moon. Pisces energy. The moon. The moon talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface, coming to light. Let's see. So we had positive karma, the king of love, the fool, meditation, spirituality, equal give and take, the justice, watching your money, waiting for someone, the ice king. <clears throat> money new honest clear communication you are the star and increase in the level of commitment we also had being uh caught between a rock and a hard place being apathetic about love watching your money waiting and secrets and deceptions finances and career finances issues are a factor in your love life right now you are doing good with money maybe the other person is having money problems engagement your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Four of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Ooh, that's exciting. Get the King of Love. A new journey. Equal give and take. Uh, new honest clear communication you are the star money increase in level of commitment finances engagement keep an open mind all right cancer have a great evening i will speak to you soon this is amanda wilkson of amanda wilkson tarot bye for now